Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So let's create our next JS app. But before we do that, just make sure you have Node.js installed. So you can just type in Node-V like this. And as you can see, I'm using version 16.13.1. If you don't see anything that on error, please make sure that you install Node.js because you're going to need it to build this in Next.js. Right, so let's quickly create our next JS app. So in order to create one, all we do is npx, right? And we can just say create. And now if you're using React, you would have had to have had to type in the React app and the name of app. So name of app. All right. But since we're using Next.js, all we have to do in here is we're going to just say next app and obviously the name of the app. So I'm just going to call this one uh, articles. Or oh, let's just let's just call it some simple just course like this all right so if you used to laravel what we would have done is we would have done laravel new and obviously in the name of the app but this is how we create basically a next.js app so press enter now this will take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds depending on your system so I'll see you after this all right my application is finishing installing so what i will do is i'll send cd into that course folder so as you can see i'm in it let me just clear this so i'm in that basically that folder so if i go code because i want to open this with visual studio code i just type in code period so press enter all right so as you can see we got it all installed all right so i'll quickly go over the structure of as you can see right here so as you can see with in with Next.js, you can see it's quite a minimalistic framework, so not too much happening right here. So compared to Laravel, you will see there's a whole lot of things happening right there. So as you can see right here, this is basically your app right here. Now, the thing is, you don't need to worry about the readme right here. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, the package.json, let's start off with the package.json. This right here, this is basically your um file for your dependencies and your scripts now let's start off with the scripts right here now the scripts you will see npm run dev so this part right there if we do npm run dev if we do this it will run this script now this script will call that and it will basically run now this if you used to laravel this will normally compile all your javascript now in this case what it will do it will spin up a local server for you so let's press enter so as you can see it spins up a local server but it will do it on port 3000 now the thing is if we did this in order to basically run a local server in laravel what we would have done is we will say php artisan uh, serve and this will basically start up a local server but on port 8000 all right so this is more or less the same as that so this one will start it on 3000 and the other one will start it on port 3000 we will view this in a second and the next one is the built one right here so if you finish creating your app you're quite happy and you want to send it off to production you run the npm run build and it will actually compile it to be able to be sent to production. Now this part right here, the start one, it will basically run your compiled app in production mode. And Lint obviously, so it's just making sure that whatever, if you have any errors, you will kind of show you that. All right, so this is basically our dependencies is Next.js, React, and the React DOM. And your dev dependencies in this case is ESLint and ESLint config now the thing is whenever you're going to install a dependency now in my case i don't like to because i'm going to get to the styles font right here i don't like to write my own css i like to use tailwind or bootstrap that's totally dependent on you anyways so if you do any of that installations now in our case we're going to use axios and that will be installed right here so axios or tailwind or anything all those kind of things will basically your dev dependencies in here all right so that's it so that's our package.json 
and this is our next config.js file right here so you don't need to worry anything about this for our beginner course no need to be concerned about this this is basically just configurations all right so the next thing is the get ignore this one you don't have to bother and the ESLint RC you don't have to worry about that now the next part right here so if you like to grant your own CSS you can be concerned with the style CSS now if you want to basically add global styling you will add it in here and if you want to add a specific styling now in this case is for the home page now if you have an about or services or whatever pages you can actually basically create modules for each page that's relevant for the CSS now the next thing is the public folder right here now anything that you put in here just remember any static assets that you put in this folder will be available publicly so if you don't want anything in there the way that's public don't put it inside this folder right here now the pages folder this is basically where we're going to do all of our magic right here but i want to basically go over this in the next episode but i'm just want to leave everything in here so let me just give you just a quick overview now the index page in your pages folder right here so this one right here this is the page that's going to be served to the front end so if we go to forward slash home right so this is as you can see if we go to localhost 3000 the one that the local server that we just spun up as you can see you can go start editing the pages.index so this is basically the page that gets served up right here so if we make any changes in here it will happen right here so let's just quickly remove the head right so as you can see that won't do anything so let me just remove this h1 so as you can see it removes it right there so this is basically our page that we serve the to the forward slash the main root index right there okay so i will quickly go over this structure in the next episode because this is quite important in terms of routing because as you can see if you're using laravel you will have a route folder in, in next.js you don't have a folder like that and i want to explain why in the next episode so see you guys there and adios